Hello and welcome to the second podcast of SSPDA Student Chapter. I am your host, Nick Cap. I am the Student Club Advisor for the West Coast Student Chapter of the PDA. What we intend to do is to inform and educate a new generation of pharma manufacturers through a discussion of helpful links, stories, and interviews. So please help us help you. In the coming weeks, we will be trying out various ways to inform our listeners to what it takes to work in the pharma manufacturing sphere. We are committed, like the PDA, to connecting people people, science, and the regulation. This week, what I wanted to do is to talk a little bit about what podcast is and how you can use them. And so a lot of times we're thinking that we just do stuff and we learn all of our information in class, but the reality is what classes are doing is giving you this base knowledge of information and you need to go out and use it. Okay, How you use it is by listening to people in your industry talk. And so what I would like to suggest for people are to use podcasts. Podcast is an episodic series of spoken word digital audio files that a user can download to a personal device for easy listening. I I like that easy listening. It's a way for you to use materials that you're doing in class. You got to use them out of class. And so that's the big connect. A lot of people, when they first go to a company, they learned all this stuff in school, but they don't know how to interact with it or they don't know it in context. Listening to professionals in your field to talk about what's going on is fun. There's a number of services that we could look at podcasts and so I look at Stitcher, I look at Google Podcasts, Microbrev TV, fun biology podcasts that I think you should listen to are things like Twibs. This is the TW this week in virology. This is number 631. They typically do this one or twice a week and they try and give a snappy name to this. Lots of eggs in the spike basket. In this one we have Rich and Rack and Yellow, a Rich Condent, uh, Brianne Barker, who you get to know over a while on this and these are interesting hosts. And they'll do a lot of things like start it out like, what's the weather here where you're at? They're in Boston, they're in Texas, they're in various parts of, of the world. And this week in virology, what's really kind of interesting, it's gotten really hot. A lot of people kind of look at this because they started to talk about COVID now. And so it's really interesting. It's really fun for beginners. This is a really good one. Now, this is a different podcast that I have here. We call it The Bacterial Files. And this one's here is Paired Predators Prevent Pathogen Persistence. In this episode, a bacterial phage and bacterial predator can wipe out a population of bacteria that could develop resistance to each individually. When we're looking at the development of drug and antibiotic resistance, which is a really big problem that we have, you know, how can we get rid of it? You know, so what we want to do is we want to develop a new drug, a magic bullet that would kill the bacteria. But trouble is, bacteria are smart and they become resistant to it. And so what they're seeing here is that can we use bacterial phage, which are viruses that infect bacteria, and a bacterial predator, which is usually a larger multicellular eukaryote that affect this. This is Jesse Noir, who has rapid fire delivery, talks really fast. The great thing is you have this internet resource and look at things. Outsource Pharma has two sets of podcasts that I think are really interesting. Outsourcingpharma.com is they're looking at the business of biotech and business of biotech has about 100 episodes. The last episode was from 2018 and so they're starting to be a little bit dated. A new series of talks are called pharmamanufacturing.com. This is sponsored by Thermo Fisher and it talks mainly about the business. How do you hire workers for this? How do you revamp your factory, etc.? And so they're really interesting things that, that go on here. Bioprocess Online. Matthew Pilar, who's an editor for Bioprocess Online, hosts an interview. This is really dense material and really slow. You want to think about it. So if you're driving and it's not too hazardous or if you're walking and being careful and it's an interesting talk. Kind of a a thing that we look at is the FDA tends to not put out a lot of stuff, but it looks like they do have these monthly updates for safety issues with the FDA. It's very dense material. You may need to look a lot of things up. It's monthly and it's uh, currently talking about things in the news and the safety issues with the latest COVID drug regimens will come out. And so this is the FDA Drug Safety Podcast. And it's interesting to listen to. Another podcast that I found that's related to the life sciences and industry is called Phase One. It's an IPS podcast. IPS is a company that consults with a lot of biopharmaceuticals. And so they're talking a little bit about business and regulation. What they do is they provide an upbeat take on career and industry insights for the life industry and so they have somebody who's snappy talks about it these have new podcasts on business issues concerning the life science industry the pda itself has a number of podcasts under the pda letters which is basically a journal they put out podcasts they're pretty intermittent they have some old podcasts and every once in a while they'll come up with a new podcast and basically it's kind of somebody describing a paper or a technical report which is one of the things that we like to do 
you. The last podcast that we're going to look at is this drug discovery world. I like this Giles. I don't know what his last name is. He has this wonderful English accent. It's nice. He's relatively fast. He reads an article from the journal. So it's really intense material. It's a lot of information. It's very fast and you're going to need to look a lot of things up, but it's very informative and it's very specialized. And so I think it's one of those things that need to look at. Again, you want to listen to the podcast. It's something that you need to do outside of the classroom in order to understand. You're going to go into this industry. It's been nice talking to you. If you have any comments or ideas or questions, please email me directly at cap, K-A-P-P, at smccd.edu. That's the college that I work at. And so I thank you for listening to our podcast. This is the science of biomanufacturing, and we would like to include people, regulation, and you. Thank you very much.